Uh, today we're building a bow rack. We got some one by fours, cutting them down to six foot long. And then we're gonna put those together and put some pegs in. And for now, I'll probably just leave it natural and maybe stain it or do something later. But right now, we're just cutting them to length. And then what I'm going to do is put a spacer in between. Kind of like so. And I like to have mine about 19 inches on the center of my pegs. So I'll get that all spaced out. And we'll go from there. Alright, now I've got my board set and I got my center marks made. You see I'm about 19 inches apart on the center. So when I put the dowel rods in, the bow will be sitting like that. I continue that and I got to kind of measure. I'll probably come down about 9 inches or so. So I'll probably put about 9 inches in between each one. We'll see. All right, on to the next step. Okay, so after you get those cut, they're just going to go underneath like that. And like I said, I may end up putting one in the middle since I made this six foot long. Now I'm going to go ahead and get another bow kind of set them and see if that nine inch space is going to work for me and then if so we'll go ahead and get it all laid out and start drilling the holes for the dowel rods okay you see I want a little bit more recurve on it the bear super mag 48 so that's seven inches in between I think I can get away with that I'm going to do seven instead of nine. All right, I'm going to go ahead and lay it out. All right, I decided to go to eight inches instead of seven because seven fell right on that knot. I didn't want to take a chance of it blowing out, so I just moved down an inch. And that will give me a little bit of room down the bottom, maybe put a couple extra pegs to hang a string or a quiver or something on maybe. All right, now I'm going to pre-drill all the holes. Okay, I like to kind of pre-drill the back a little bit before I go all the way through. That way I don't blow the back out, splinter it real bad. Get the back side done, now we'll move to the front and go all the way through. All right, now we're going to go through the front, go all the way through. Doing that, go through it, don't splinter the back out, tear it all up. Be nice to have a drill press to make sure these are straight, but we don't have one, so.
Okay, so here's kind of what it's going to look like. Got my holes drilled. Got the dowel rods cut. Starting to slowly put those in. I'm not going to shove them all in yet because I want to screw it together. And then I want to put a little bit of glue on before I stick them in. It's kind of showing you what it's going to look like a little bit. I made them six inches long, that way I can try to get two bows on each set of pegs. Just continue on the same one on the other side. I don't have any clamps. Let's go ahead and get one in there. This one, since I don't have a hole in the bottom, I could actually put five screws, but I think this will hold. That's kind of what it's going to look like. I'm going to get the dowel rods in. I think I'm going to go ahead and stick one in the middle though. Alright, now we got the board started here. So we pulled off the end 34 and a quarter. Then we have 34 and a quarter the other direction. Now to put us in the center. Doesn't really line up with the holes because my holes are offset from the top to the bottom a little bit, but it'll be in the middle, so yeah, it works for me. It'll help keep it hold together so it's not spread apart, warping, or anything like that. Alright, now we're just going to continue drilling the rest of the holes, put the rest of the screws in, flip it over, and start putting the dowel rods in. Alright.
I'll go ahead and put a little bit of glue on these. Just run it around. And all I do is just drive it down in there. It's flush. And my finger around, kind of get the glue. Come around there. Try to fill it all up a little bit. Take a rag and wipe the extra off. And just continue on doing the same thing through every one of them. And about halfway through. A few more to go. Alright, there we go. We're done for now. Alright, we're back. I decided I think I'm going to go ahead and stain it before I hang it. So we're going to go ahead and get started on that. Here's the finished product. I was able to fit three on some of them. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions, and please like and subscribe.